Welcome back my friends, welcome to another section. Here we are going to create this hero. And I will have a hero image and overlay on top and I will have some text which we will need to style it a little bit. So the things that I'm going to use in this section are like not standard. You need the WebKit prefix in order some of them to work. Now, last time I have opened something for you guys here on top but I didn't show you. It is about Flexbox, so if you go here, we, we use a Flexbox a little bit, right? Now, if you don't want to check my previous content, you can go Google it online. You will find a bunch of information about Flexbox. Now, it's called Flexible Box. Another great resource is V3 Schools. So if you don't want to go through my material, just go through here in order to understand what I'm trying to do. And that's pretty much what I can say. That's optional. That's for you because I know a lot of students jump. Now next part, a lot of students ask me for, can, can you give me the images? If you download the project, the images will be there. Now one more thing, I, most of the images I use from Unsplash, you can create like a work desk, you can type here, and you will have a lot of images. You can download it from here for free, credit the guy that, that does this. So if you use, use some, some similar image to mine one, if you don't want to use my one, because that will help you on, to test things. So that's what I want to try to say. Now, one more thing, you need to start using Can I Use. This Can I Use will help you to determine if your browser is compatible with what we're going to do. Because as I told you, Flexbox, we are in Flexbox, right? yeah. So Internet Explorer 11, if you use it, it's partial supported with the prefix. And here it's unprefixed 97, 97, 93% totally. Now. What I'm trying to say, this is um, not production. I'm not. We're not gonna take this project to production. You can if you want, but you will do. Uh, you need to do a lot of different research in order to see if your audience really want to use this right, this thing, or finding something um, like similar or whatever it suits you. Now that's why I use Bootstrap because Bootstrap is supported pretty much by every by every platform there. Now. We're gonna try building this one. Before doing that, what I will do, go in a, in resources. I'm gonna open up a folder called IMG. Now, you can, as I told you, you can download any images from here. Maybe like this, more white because we're gonna put overlay uh, like a grayish color or like a little bit red. Now, that's why I choose white to have a better contrast. Now, you can drag and drop. I have the image here somewhere on my desktop. You can drag and drop, and here it is. So it's inside the IMG folder. But what is good, you can do. You can open your ZAM directory or whatever you have, uh, uh, wherever you have your project, and go to the resources. Sorry, to the public, and IMG, and put it there. Right. That's another way nice now I have this one so let's work on let's open resources landing page very good so now I'm landing page in here I would like to create to start putting the markup here now I have the hero now next thing will be hero overlay and inside I will have a hero another class hero text where I can have a two text here, H1, and inside this H1, say check my new Laravel course, my new advanced, because we're learning a lot of things. Another one here, I will put a P tag, P with a class of heading, so you can put it here tertiary. So I'm using this name because this is not my first heading, will be. So I'm gonna have probably this one be heading primary or secondary. It doesn't matter. So um, here, just lorem l o tab. It should give you this part. And let's check it out how it looks, because we do have a lot of things open here. Now, that is how it looks. So again, we do have the section header. Now what we would like to do is to open our SAS and we're not gonna, I'm not going to put it in the components 
but you can. I'm gonna put it in the in here in this header in the layout. So open up header.scss and we can start using something. Now here I'm gonna target the hero class and what I can target is I can say width of 100% height. I just want a height to be 100% as well and I don't need this. I don't need this and now I'm gonna put background image from here. I'm gonna say URL and just make sure that you know the path right IMG and it's not giving me the the link so um, let's go there's a quick fix for this one but IMG I'm just gonna rename here control a copy everything so I'm gonna copy the name I'm just gonna close this one and I'm gonna paste it here now I'm just gonna save it and what else I want to do I want to say background size cover and I want a background background uh, repeat no repeat and you can put a background position for example center uh, you will see the difference between mine and the other version that I have now is this one is running in the background let's see what's happening here it is now the image is there if you don't put the it's a little bit different than this one was well, pretty much saying yeah uh, yep so that is what we are after now we do have this one do we have the header just wait for one second to check if we are loading the in layout header very good now if you make a mistake it will be in red here so we positioned we're saying that we don't want to repeat background size to be covered and yeah that's pretty much it now what I want here I just want to target this text and I'm gonna target the text box and I will say margin top I was minus 60 pixels I will say margin left 120 pixels so these are experimental values you can use your if you if you don't like the design you can tweak it a little bit so I just want a width of 50 percent and let's give it a color here color color of the text do I have the variables control P variables I have color Y that's good I'm gonna save it this one is working let's see what's happening now very good the, the, um, this one is going a little bit up but we will fix that one and what we are doing here we have the text is in white color okay now let's move on so what we do margin top left so I just want to create here padding of 20 pixels and 40 pixels it's always nice to have padding 5 or 10 just make it double so it will look a little bit better now let me just check it here hero text yep very good now it's like this okay I think we're done for this lecture we will continue styling in the next one and uh, yeah we will so we will continue working in our next lecture where we are going to finish up I think so we're gonna finish up in the next lecture the entire the entire heading our hero section so thank you very much hope you like this one hope you're gonna learn something new and see you in the next one